and there's Gerald Green, and it's Neil Aquina in at the one. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Boss, in that last matchup against the Bucks, had a difficult night. He scored a handful of points and orchestrated the offense as he piled up the assists. He missed shot after shot. The iron was indeed unkind. He'll be looking to make amends here tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great job. And you know, even the best players have weak games, guys. And I think we saw that pretty clearly. Yeah, and, and the question now becomes, you know, can you bounce back? Will he be able to put that game behind him? Well, it won't be easy. I mean, as much as you try to just move on, those tend to stick with you for a while. He needs to have a strong game tonight to get out of the rut. Bridges shot. Good. <laughs> pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And there's the pass to Green. And the floater, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Greg, you were a physical, defensive-minded player. What are your thoughts on how closely the game is called now as opposed to when you play? It is, Kevin, and, and yeah, some people like the physicality of the year I played in, but... You know, I like the beauty of the game with the spacing and the freedom of movement, and I think that's one reason why you see so much switching. It's hard to fight through screens without fouling, and ball handlers have become experts at drawing contact, even if it's, you know, incidental. And I think that's just an area where the game has changed so much that that ability to play in space is so vital. Right side green. Great D that time from Boss. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Quickly, he's covered by Washington. Passes it to Nilekina. Five on the clock, and he hits the jumper for two. Nilekina's got eight. I really like the rhythm Nilekina plays with. Good at sensing when to shoot off the pass. Boss passes to Zeller. Robinson with the block. Green against Bridges. Quickly. A three-pointer off the mark. Hornets leading by 16. Puts one up from 19. Hits the front of the rim and out. For New York, they've gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. To the middle. And it's Green with the jam. Those are some serious hops. Do you remember him blowing out the cupcake on the top of the rim? Sick! So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Just four seconds left in the third quarter. And they've won the rebound battle so far, and it's translated to the scoreboard. Well, they look like they just wanted more right now. You gotta love the hustle. And so it's the sharp. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Devontae Graham. He's out there with McDaniel. And it's Riller in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup for Charlotte. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Ooh, this is what makes Randall so special. His ferocity on the board is admirable. Fades and shoots, and that one is good. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. But these guys need a gut check right now. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You have to know the scouting report. He's a threat from out there. Las Vegas passes to Randall. And stolen by Graham. For the three. And it's the Hornets, another three. I mean, I don't always like the three on the fast break, but the D was set up well inside. Here's Harper. The 